All right, man, so let's address this right here at the beginning. Today's video is a little bit different from what you're used to on this channel. Now that we got that out the way, this is an extremely relevant topic that deals with two crucial pillars that this channel is built on, YouTube and football. Today, we're gonna discuss the growing number of NFL players who are creating YouTube channels. Why I think is hella smart and why I think is hella dope. I love to see these athletes making these chess moves and today we're gonna delve into this topic just a little bit. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to show your boy some love, man. Click the thumbs up button if you're brand new here, bruh. I drop what happened to videos on all your favorite college players. Subscribe, man. And click the notification so that YouTube, you know, will sometime let you know when I drop. I got a huge backlog of what happened to videos. Go check those out. And also, I drop videos a few times a week. So make sure you're always checking back. Other than that, it's time to jump in. Cue the Wayne, baby. Let's get it. So when I started YouTube a few years ago, it was dominated by the socially frowned upon gamer. So at that point, it wasn't cool at all for a 27 year old to up and become a YouTube gamer. Fast forward a few years though, and that is changing at, at a rapid pace. Now I'm not one of those people that seeks a ton of validation, but recently I've been inadvertently receiving just a load of validation in droves. This channel was built on gaming and telling stories about NFL players who used to be college stars. Cats that was either misrepresented by the media or just forgotten about completely. These cats had no platform to tell their own story. You know, more than just like a small 30 second snippet of what he did wrong and how sorry he is. But today more and more NFL players are creating YouTube channels. And at this current moment, there's no better platform to tell your own story at length over the course of hundreds or maybe even thousands of videos. Biggest and I guess the overarching reason I think that most of these guys are creating channels, brand expansion. Building a brand today is possible for damn near anyone. It's not easy, but you can be a beast at cutting grass or building PCs or talking shit. Like, you could build a brand around anything. And NFL players are a rare breed. They basically been filtered through a funnel starting way back in Pee Wee. Only a portion of those kids get through the funnel and make it to high school. A portion of those kids get through high school and make it to college and then a much, much, much smaller portion of those guys get from college to the league. So once you've done this, you've accomplished something that the overwhelming majority of us ex-football players have not been able to accomplish. And if I could build a brand on playing a video game, God damn it, you could build a brand on that feat alone. Now the NFL suppresses its players. It doesn't want to lose control of the player. You never want that guy to gain too much power. So they use the media to kind of shun these guys. If a guy's seen as a self-promoter or a guy who maybe holds out to try to get a better contract situation, sometimes people understand, but usually, that guy is seen as a bad guy, or, or at the very least, a, a selfish guy. Like, in the NFL, you don't have the same freedom of expression that a league like maybe the NBA has. And I get that, because the NBA has its own set of problems. Like, what the hell, DeMarcus Cousins? Like, for real, bro? But even still, you have to love the fact that NBA players are able to speak out socially much more freely than the NFL guys, man. The NFL guys are punished severely when this happens. And at this point, you gotta make a decision between, you know, taking care of your family or, you know, not, which is obviously a very tough situation to be in. I get why the NFL does this. Like, I understand it. I just don't like it, you know? But it is their business, and so they can run it however they see fit. I used to tell people this all the time when I was working in sales. Like, bro, they could drop the commission rates on any of this stuff because they front the money to, to pay for the stuff in the first place for you to resell. They, they advertise the place and they provide the damn platform for you to then distribute it. The whole structure is there. So you gotta do what you can do to manipulate their system or create your own. This is where YouTube comes in. This is a platform that you have much more control over. You can reach millions of people and these people will see you in a way that goes beyond football. That is important, bro. That's why cats like Juju, Jamal Adams, Dewan Smoot, and Joe Mixon, and Darius Geis, just to name a few off the top of my head. That's why they've started YouTube channels. Now they can express themselves and tell their own stories. I remember around draft time, man, Darius Geis, it was like so much like just crap being made up about this dude that was completely untrue. 
like completely untrue and i have not spoken to darius guys i don't know actually i think he does more of twitch than youtube i'm really not even sure but i can almost guarantee you in that moment if that happens to any athlete it would be extremely nice to be able to go on to your own youtube channel and explain yourself fully not live you can get your story how you want it and make sure you ain't stumbling over your words and deliver it how you want it to be delivered the same way the media does like when they interview you and then they go and chop that joint up and put it in the context they want it in they deliver that content how they want it's nice to have some content you could control what like what made you um want to do a youtube channel uh for me honestly just wanted to get get my uh get my voice out there and basically get my story out there without all the extra media things and stuff like that you know how media they twist and turn things and yeah, yeah. like you're not able to really get your true voice out there so i mean that that's what i've really done when it comes to like the social media aspect too i just try to get my voice out there my true voice and how i feel so when it came to the youtube channel uh i had the idea of doing a vlog doing, doing a vlogging channel and just showing my life through my eyes and how and how i basically just showing how i act you know on a daily basis and showing how my life goes yeah so i mean that, that's basically what i do throughout my channel man i, I just show how the goes like the ups and downs like and just just my experience throughout this whole this whole time all the way if, all the way through my rookie year and all the way until i end it you know I'm, I'm planning on doing youtube for a long time so i mean i'm just trying to show everybody what what the nfl life really looks like yeah <clears throat> i mean I, I think it's hella smart, man. Now, there's obviously limits because you still represent a company that is the NFL. And as a representation of their company, you got to behave a certain way. And that's cool. But the thing is, yo, football don't last forever. And YouTube opens up a ton of opportunities. For one, it is a business in itself. For two, exposure to all these people. You got all this attention as an individual not necessarily as a football player they probably came because you was a football player but they stayed and they continue to watch because they get to know you the person and they rock with you so even after you're done playing football they're gonna be interested in what the hell is he doing next it, it give you those cool things that we all like it's called options flexibility it prevents a person from getting backed into a corner where they can only pursue one thing if the only thing you can pursue is football once that ends and it will what do you do? This is an issue that tons of pro athletes across all sports run into, like, cause you're defined by this one thing for so long. Once that is no longer there, what do you do? Well, having a YouTube channel gives you options. You're used to being in front of the camera. You can go into media easy. If you want to stay in football, you can definitely do that. Let's talk about endorsement deals. Obviously some of the top, top players will maintain endorsement deals after their football careers end. Well, you still have an audience that you've built over the course of your career. So when you negotiate in endorsement deals, guess what though? I got I got 1.2 on YouTube, so yeah, where's the bag? They have a built-in audience that allows them to move on to their next step after their career. I haven't even spent any time talking about what it'll do for them during their career. Just the visibility and exposure that this creates goes such a long way. And it goes a long way as far as re- humanizing these cats bro because we put these athletes on this ridiculous pedestal bro like we hold athletes to a standard so ridiculous as if these dudes that play this gladiator sport are supposed to never make a mistake in society having a youtube channel where you can be transparent it go a long way as far as humanizing you and letting your audience really relate to you the person you got the same issues maybe even bigger because now this type of money and fame is introduced but you got the same exact values bro you want to take care of your family make sure they safe live a good life enjoy your work you know what i'm saying the same stuff a lot of fans miss this entirely having a youtube channel can make it so that more fans actually get this and understand this part of it these dudes may be like the early adopters of this but bro this is gonna start happening a lot more and it's the smart move bro it is the move so i just want to send a shout out to all those cats who have already made that jump it's an incredibly smart move a great investment of time i think and of course we'll we have to see how this plays out i mean i don't know for sure this is just my assumption opinion whatever basically just wanted to make this video to just show some love bro because these dudes are basically early adopters coming from 
their profession. Obviously, people been doing YouTube forever now, but I'm saying like NFL players doing legit channels. They got like crews, people probably editing stuff for them. I mean, I would, but creating a separate platform from the NFL can only be a positive for players. It gives you more control and, and ultimately more power. And in this damn tug of war that we call life, the more power, the better.